Hello, you beautiful people. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my videos because I am uploading back to back at the moment. Yesterday we did a full review of the Snow White collection. I have also recently reviewed the Simpsons collection. I've done a full reveal video as well if you wanted to know everything that is in the collection. And I've also done a full reveal video and two tutorials so far of the Corpse Bride collection too. So yeah, I would highly recommend going and checking them out if this is your kind of thing. So today we are going to be doing Sleeping Beauty. So we have a palette. We also have a lip gloss trio which is totally different for the princess collections and then we also have the highlighter too so typically in the princess collections you would get the palette the highlighter and one gloss but this one is a little bit different so this one has a lip gloss trio in it and that's because this is based off each of are they technically fairies godmothers i can't remember exactly what the term is for it but there's basically one gloss for each of them so there's um Oh, I'm going to try and pronounce it. I think it's Merry Weather, Flora, and Fauna. For, you know I can't pronounce things. Save my life. Anyways. <laughs> so the palette retails for £15. This is just what the packaging looks like. And then the inside looks exactly the same. If my eyes look a little bit funky, it's because I've literally just had a brown eye look on. I'm about to take it off so I can film this video. Um, and then this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I'd love to know what you think of this one. I feel like this one doesn't fully represent, like if I look at this, I wouldn't think Sleeping Beauty, if I'm completely honest. Um, however, I do like that there's a blue side and there's a pink side for her dress um, as well. But yeah, we're gonna test this out today. And this retails for 15 pound. Then obviously we have the glosses. These retail for 10 pound for the trio. And then we have the highlighter. And this one retails for eight pound. And the packaging is the exact same for the highlighter, just looks, like this matches all of the other princesses which I absolutely love. I have done a review on every princess that's been out so far so go check out my channel because I have a full revolution playlist if you want to go check it out and this is what hers looks like. To totally honest, again I didn't expect this for her for her kind of collection however it's like a purple highlighter with a lighter purple bluey kind of shimmer in it so this is going to be really really interesting to see what it's like on the cheeks because you all know me by now I'm more of a goldy kind of highlighter gal so this is very out of the box for me so I'm excited I'm excited to try something a little bit different just going back to the palette because you all know I like to do my little matte to shimmer ratio let's have a look what we've got so we've got one two um three four five six seven eight nine ten i think ten shimmers in here and um, ten mattes sorry and then the rest are shimmers so quite a lot of mattes that we can play with but they are a very funky array of colors too so i don't know what we're going to come up with but let's get straight into the tutorial so i'm just looking at the palette and i'm trying to think of what color combination i'm going to do and i honestly have no clue i'm thinking like pink and purple like it's such a hard array of colours that we have in here. So I'm thinking maybe like a pink and a purple kind of look with a shimmer. Maybe like a pink shimmer. Pink shimmer and like a pink and a purple. What are we thinking? I don't want to go in with red because we did red yesterday for Snow White. Um, so I don't want to go in with a red for that. So yeah, I think we're going to do pink and purple. <laughs> so I've just popped on some of the Revolution base in the shade Light. I've gone with that one over the P. Louise one because I need something that's going to cover up that darkness from where I've just took my eyeshadow off. So that'll do really well for that and it won't look as crazy light when we start putting our shades on. Don't worry, as always you have to just trust the process, especially with me <laughs> when it comes to my eye look. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade Spell to begin with, which is this darker purple. I am really sorry that I've not had a chance to do swatches for this collection and for Snow White yesterday. I just haven't had a chance, like I'm literally filming this clip of me starting to do my eye makeup at 10 to 8 and I know my videos have been going up so late the past couple of days and they've been doing absolutely amazing reviews, like thank you so much and thank you if you are new and you've subscribed, like it, it honestly means the absolute world to me, like my dream would be to make this into some kind of like part-time job or 
full-time job or oh, I don't know it's just something where I'm earning so I, I'm earning enough so I can take a day off work or two days off work to be able to do just YouTube because oh, I absolutely love that so yeah I just want to say thank you for for all of your support I am really sorry that I've not been able to do swatches because I normally do swatches in all of my reviews but I've just not had the time whilst I'm also working full time too so yeah I'm, I am really sorry <laughs> I know I don't have to apologize and I don't have to do swatches but I love seeing them in reviews so yeah I just want to say I'm sorry and I love you and just thank you for being patient with me but I have been loving uploading every single day so all I've done is I've just been packing that purple into this outer corner and I'm putting it quite high as well I forgot to say, but I used the Peaches and Cream PC35 brush, just in case you are wondering. And I'm going to go in with a Lily England 102 brush, and I'm going to go in with a shade Aurora, which is this pink one here. So I'm just going to take this pink and pack this in this inner part of the eye, just in case you are new as well, just because I know this video is going to be quite a quick one to edit. Um, just to not tell you a little bit about me, so um, how old am I? I'm 26, <laughs> I was going to say 25, I'm not, I'm 26. Um, I live in the northeast of, of England, in case you're wondering, I mean, you can probably tell by my accent to be fair. Um, and I am a trained mental health um, therapist, so I do low intensity cognitive behavioural therapy three days a week. And then I do two days a week working for Revolution Beauty. I have a full video about my job and everything with them. If you just go on my YouTube channel and search The Secret, it's on there. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. It is a Morphe M433 brush. And I love that there's like a white kind of shade in here. This one's called Castle. And I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of the purple and the pink. So obviously we haven't got like a lighter one. To go in with this look does give me very princess sleeping beauty vibes like i'm not gonna lie i can feel it coming together already <laughs> and then i'm literally gonna go in with super super simple and go in with a shimmer on the lid and i think i'm gonna go in with this pink one because it's gonna match really really well and then i think i'll go in with this one in the inner corner so this one for the inner corner and brow bone is called magical and the pink one is called love so cute <laughs> and I'm literally just going to take that with my finger and put that on the lid it's a shame because I would have gone in with like a blue glitter or like a gold or there's like a greeny one but it just I just feel like this is more sleeping beauty it just goes with her a lot better and I really like that yesterday's video that I did with Snow White even though it wouldn't be an eye look that I would ever kind of put together normally I put it together because it reminded me of Snow White it was the red blue and gold um as well so yeah I'm I'm just going to use a couple of colors but do it so it actually matches the princess because I just think I think it's so cute and then just taking the elf eye crease brush which looks like this I'm going to go in with that magical shade which I mentioned is the one that we're going to put in that inner corner just to make that pop wow <laughs> she pops all right wow oh my god that is beautiful that is so nice it's such a unique color as well because it's got a it's like as if it's like it's got a bit of green in it but also really gold too that is really pretty i'm just going to use whatever's left on the brush just for underneath the brow bone this has blended so well together and just so easy like it's been very very little effort for me to do this look and that's just how I like it <laughs> I cannot complain like the the palette itself has like a weirder range of colors that I probably wouldn't put together for Sleeping Beauty but these ones 100% like beautiful and just Sleeping Beauty in a nutshell like I oh, just love it okay so blusher I'm not gonna lie all three of them beautiful but I think I'm gonna go in with this one here which is called make it pink let's just do obviously I know I can't do I don't have time to do swatches on my hand oh my god yeah we're definitely going to go over the first one because it's going to go over in, in with this look so nice <gasps> don't know why but I feel like I need to just sniff it <laughs> 
I have no idea why either. <laughs> so I'm going to take some of that. She is pigmented, so we're going to tap off some of that blush. This is a Morphe E4 brush, in case you are. Oh, she's still really pigmented, in case you're wondering. Oh, that is beautiful. I feel like this blusher formula is probably the best that I've felt and put on out of all the princesses. Oh my god, this is stunning. Oh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> okay. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to go in with a highlighter from this palette and then we'll put the other individual one over the top to see what it looks like because it's such a unique shade you'll be able to see it over the top anyway. So I'm going to go in with a bit of Prince Prince. <laughs> I like combined it together. Prince Philip, <laughs> not Prince. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take that on a Morphe M5 or 1 brush. Tap off the excess and I have a little bit of highlighter on from before but nothing. Ooh, this is a different undertone to what I had on before anyway, so this is nice. Ooh, okay. And of course you could also use that magical shade as highlighter. Obviously you can use that, the eyeshadows as highlighter and blushes and all that kind of shebang too. That is what that looks like. Beautiful formula. So, so happy with that. Like so happy with that blusher. Blush is beautiful. I can definitely see me reaching for this, especially for the blushes. The eyeshadow combination of like the colours wouldn't be one that I would reach for that often. But in regards to that blusher side and the highlighter as well, that's nice. That's really nice. Let's try this. So like I said, this retails for £8 and this is a funky, cool little colour. So let's have a tap into it. And then tapping off the excess. And then let's put this. All right, okay, so you can be a little bit more heavy handed than what I was expecting. I thought I was gonna get like a purple line on my face, but it's not, it's not as scary as that. I think it's like a lilac highlighter. It looks so dark in the little pan, but I don't think it, I don't think it is that dark. There is definitely, yeah, there's definitely like a cast there. So it is a little bit too dark for my complexion but hopefully it'll be better for people that are darker than me. I mean, my camera's gone out of focus, it must have just blinded it. I mean, that looks really, really, really nice and lilacly, lilacly, lilacly. But you can see straight on, you can see like that shadow along the top because it is too dark for me. I honestly thought it was gonna be like this straight up color on my cheeks and it's not at all. So if you are darker than me, Maybe this would be one to try because it comes out totally different in like on your face than it does in the packaging. And then last but not least, we have the Lip Gloss Trio. And obviously this retails for £10 with it being a trio. Normally you just get one for the princesses, but obviously we have three. And then this is what it looks like. I mean, you can probably tell from me holding it up that I'm gonna go for this one just because it's gonna match this eye and everything so well. Oh, it's so sleep and beauty, this look, I'm so happy with it. Um, but obviously we have the other two. So I'm gonna do a little swatch. I know I said I'm not gonna do swatches, but I can't help it. I feel bad because I haven't had a chance to do them. But sometimes swatching the eyeshadow palettes and stuff takes me half an hour to swatch them, film it. And then obviously all the extra time for me to add it into the video. Like, I never realised how, how time consuming it was until I did it the other night and I was like on a time limit and I was like, wow, this is actually really time consuming. So yeah, that is what, they are so pigmented. That is just what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade, oh, it's the one that I can't pronounce. Is it Fauna? Fauna? I don't know. I say things wrong. I can't help it. <laughs> so let's go in, wow, let's go in with this colour here. Okay, so this is definitely one that you could literally wear by itself, like you don't need to have a lipstick underneath. And then this is what the lip gloss looks like by itself. Oh, it just goes with this look so well. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. I'd love to know what you think. It is a really, really simple and easy look. So I hope you don't mind that, but I just feel like it just, it just suits Sleeping Beauty so well. I just love it. 
I just love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for a full Matrix collection reveal. So XX Revolution put up their VIP sale today for Matrix. I have linked it literally everywhere on my social media, my Instagram, my Facebook page, um, Twitter, the YouTube community tab. It's literally everywhere. If you want to go check it out, if you do buy through my link, thank you so much. It really helps to support me even more. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for the Matrix one. Thank Thank you to my patrons for being just so lovely and just gorgeous and just beautiful people inside and out. <laughs> I will hopefully see you tomorrow for a new video. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs>